Following the terrorist attack at the Olympics a few months earlier, security was tightened at the 73 contest as Israel joined Eurovision for the first time. The auditorium, I remember, was patrolled by soldiers with guns, telling us to sit down or we'd be shot. Did the security worry you at all? No, I think I'd worry much more if there wasn't any. I mean, if there's any danger of trouble, I think they're right in taking the security, pro you know, the, the efforts they're making. Power to all our friends. Biting our fingernails, could it be second time lucky for Cliff? Competition was tough. of the common market, the Chinese charming state of about 335,000 souls, ruled over by the Grand Duke Jean. Now that may make it sound like Ruritania, but it's very much part of the European community. Its industries of mining, iron and steel, and the wine here isn't bad either. Of course, it's all been hustle and bustle around the new theatre this week, with all the tension and the temperament one associates with an international contest of this kind. The winner of the very first Eurovision Song Contest in 1956 was Switzerland. Now, last year, it was Vicky Leandro for Luxembourg, which explains why we're here in this ultra-modern new theatre in the Grand Duchy. The music you're hearing is last year's winner, Après Toi, played by the orchestra of Radio Television Luxembourg under the direction of Pierre Cao. Now, this is the orchestra that will accompany all the contestants. Each country, of course, supplying its own conductor. There's last year's winner, Vicky Leandros, one with Apre Trois. And as the music draws to a close, we prepare to greet a very charming young lady who will be coming through that door any moment now. Here she is. Her name is Helga. She works for the German service of Radio Luxembourg, and she'll be speaking to you tonight in French, English, and German. Mesdames, Messieurs, bonsoir. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Guten Abend, late light. Au nom de Radio Télé Luxembourg, j'ai le plaisir de vous inviter ce soir à assister au 18e concours Eurovision de la chanson. Singers from 17 countries will be competing and a jury consisting of representatives from those 17 countries is locked away in the Luxembourg studio facing the hard task of selecting the winner of the 1973 Eurovision Song Contest. Through television and radio, this contest will reach 400 million people and they, as well as all of us here in the new theater of Luxembourg, are hoping that the best song will win. So, Nach dieser well, thank you, Helga. So say all of us providing its power to all our friends, except Richard, which is, of course, the UK's entry this year. It's a hot favourite here in Luxembourg, but, of course, nobody's passed the post and all the votes are counted. It's time to hear the songs, then, for the Eurovision Song Contest 73. The first song you'll hear is from Finland. Words and music by Rano Lehtinen. It will be sung in English because for the first time this year, the songs can be sung in any language, not necessarily the native tongue, by Marian Rung, who you see here, who incidentally represented her country 
in this contest once before, 11 years ago in 1962, when it was also held in Luxembourg. Applause for Marion and Ron now. This Tom 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 is a lively, upbeat number, lives up to its title, and Marion's ready to give it all she's got. married couple, Nicole and Hugo. Song is written by Eric Marisa and Ignaz Bach. The conductor is Francis Bay. Cavaleiros à garupa do seu heroísmo Entra aquela música maluca do passo ao doblismo Entra a aficionada e a caduca mais o cerubismo e cismo Entram empresários moralistas, entram frustrações Entram antiquários e fadistas e contradições e entra muito dólar, muita gente que dá lucro aos milhões. E diz o inteligente que acabaram as canções. Lá vai, 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 arará, vai, vai, arará. Junger Tag, ich frage dich, was ist dein Geschenk an mich? Bringst du Tränen von gestern zu? Und Raum fliegen die Träume und kämpfen noch mit dem Schatten der Nacht. Doch Sonnenlicht fällt durch die Bäume und die Erde erwacht. Junger Tag, ich frage dich, was? 
Das ist ein Geschenk an mich. That's one of the favorites this year, Germany's Junger Stark. And Gitter did a very good job on it there, getting a warm reception from the crowd. Now, representing Norway with song number five are the Bendix singers. You can only see two of them, but there are more, take my word. Ellen Nikolaisen, Anna Karin Thrym, and two brothers, Bjorn and Philip Karusa. Now, they're singing a multilingual song, It's Just a Game, with words and music by Arne Bendixen. They're singing in French, Italian, and English. At least, those are the ones I recognize. See, there are four of them. And the conductor, who also conducted for Norway last year in Edinburgh, is Karsten Klaumann. And as he takes the stand, let's hear Norway's entry. It's just a game. So don't you upset and keep cool and you'll get her. Hey, cats to play house in. Why do we play the mouse in? Oh, what a game. It's just a game. So it's no wrong to sing the song because it has a moral. It's the love and not the quarrel. It's really much better. Hey, Lucy, just pay her. Keep cool and you'll get her. It's, it's just, just a game. game. That's a charming, attractive group from Norway, the Bendix, with It's Just a Game. On to song number six, the Monaco entry, Un Train Qui Part, and to sing it, La Petite Marie. According to Marie's biography, her favorite hobbies are eat in my bed and leave naked by the seaside. And why not? Uh, Monaco last won in 1971 with Severine when the contest was held in Dublin. Number seven, and from Bilbao, six young people calling themselves Mosedades. Pre-contest betting has this entry as one of the favorites to win, and I know Cliff Richard thinks it's good too. So see how you rate it. The title in English is Your So. It's called Eres Tu. It's written by Juan Carlos Calderón, who also, incidentally, conducts the orchestra.
There's great applause for that one. It's just quite such a nervousness there. Not surprising when you know you're being watched by 300,000 people. Ocidades from Spain. Now, this song, number eight from Switzerland, will be sung by Patrick Juve, who, by all accounts, is Switzerland's answer to David Cassidy. Now, as I said earlier, Switzerland won the very first song contest in 1956, and uh, they haven't won it since. Je vais me marier, Marie, et vous quitter Sophie, Marianne et Virginie. On ne pleure pas, Marie, pas plus que toi, Véronica et Rebecca. Je renonce à vos caresses, à votre amour, à ma douce vie. Je vais me marier, Roger, et vous quitter toi, Frédéric et toi, Didier. Ne te moque pas, Lucas, pas plus que toi, Napoléon, ni toi, Cola. Je renonce à nos prouesses. À nos nuits de folie et à notre jeunesse qui finit aujourd'hui, puisque j'aime Marie. Demain il sera bien temps de penser à la vie, de faire des enfants, de placer mes économies. Allez, youpi! Demain je serai bouclé, vous ne me verrez plus, buvons à ma santé et à la liberté perdue. Vive la mariée, vive la mariée. So I'm looking like a cross between Peter Noon and Adam Faith at Patrick Juve. I wonder how many of you spotted the deliberate error there when I said 300,000 viewers, of course, it's 300 million for the Eurovision Sound Contest. And now a welcome for Zdravko Kulice, representing Yugoslavia. Yes, and representing something of a challenge for commentators as well with that name. Is that Zdravko is from Sarajevo, and he's clad all in red, and his songs with words and music by Kemal Montenio, with entitled Gori Vatra. Number 10 is from Italy. It's sung by this young man who's very popular in his own country, not only as a singer, but as a film star. It's Massimo Ranieri. <laughs> da pochi soldi strade sconosciute lei che ti assomiglia un poco il fuoco si riaccende ma un po' di nostalgia mi prende
song number 11 coming now in the host country, Luxembourg. Uh, who'll be hoping to make it two on the trot, of course, and repeat Vicky Leandros's victory of last year with Apre Trois. Uh, they could hardly have chosen better than this young lady, Anne-Marie David. And the song is very strong, too. It's well fancied to do well in the final shake-up. Tu te reconnaître. You will recognize yourself by Vlean Boogie and Cloud Morgan. Le maître a puni Dans la gare Où commence La première aventure De la vie Dans celui qui doute Dans celui qui Dans ce monde égoïste Qui renie ce qu'il a adoré Dans ceux qui ont peur Marie David getting what you could call a hometown reception from the crowd in Luxembourg. On to song number 12. It's Sweden's entry. It's being sung in English by the Nova, Klaas and Joran, as the two gents, with their backing group, The Dolls. And I won't trouble you with the Swedish title for reasons of my own, but the song is called, in English, You Are Summer. It's written by Lars Forschel, Monica and Karl Axel Dominique. And incidentally, you'll probably hear a very big round of applause when the conductress comes up, because it's the first conductress, there's two. This is Monica Dominique, who partly wrote the song. The Nova are in matching suede outfits of blue and form the dolls in navy blue. Here it is then, You Are Summer. Tuesday waits down the endless dreary lane And every day is like the other day I am blue and I long for your caress Oh, your breasts are like swallows and nesting have already won the Eurovision Song Contest three times, so they can afford to ignore superstition at being number 13 this year. The song is being sung in Dutch by Ben Kramer, who's won many prizes at song festivals all over the world. Last year, he won the big international song festival in Tokyo. He was going to be accompanied on the accordion, which can't do him any harm. 
uh, Pierre Cartner wrote the words and the music to the song which is the Oda Musicant, the old musician. The conductor taking over the baton now is Harry Van Hoof. <laughs> Die nog op hem wacht, maar soms is het of hij weer lacht. Hij was beroemd in heel het land, die oude grijze muzikant. Door de straten, over pleinen, vreemd dat ene lied, die melodie zal nog. Zam zij nu al zijn dagen, niemand die hem nog kent. Hij speelt op zijn accordeon en denkt aan hoe het eens begon. Het leven is nu vooral een reis in de straten van Parijs. Voor de straten. outfit takes his bow for Holland. Well, as you may have read in your papers this morning, there's been a certain amount of toing and froing over the Irish entry, which is song number 14. So there's three to go, but the Irish entry will be sung by this charming young lady, Maxie, otherwise known to her family as Irene McCubrey. Now, she's five foot nine inches tall, which I suppose is where the Maxie comes from. The song is by the Cork songwriting team of George F. Crosby and Jack Riley. My darling, That is song number 15, so only three remaining is the one that carries all our hopes. Already a big hit in Britain for Cliff, written by Guy Fletcher and Doug Flett. Power to all our friends. And the musical director for the second year running, he also conducted in Edinburgh, is Dave Mackay. Now Cliff's backing group is John Farrer, Trevor Spencer, Alan Tarney and Terry Britton. So with every available digit crossed for Cliff, here it is now for the United Kingdom, our entry, Cliff Richards. Living off the land 
power to the land. There's some young girl laying down in Monte Carlo, laying in the sun. Power to the sun. How do the boys who play rock and roll meet my life so sweet? And to the girls I knew before and those I've yet to meet. Power. That's a great performance from Cliff Richards. It must give the United Kingdom entry a very good chance here. We'll see what the judges say, and we're not too far away from the judges' decision either. Now we go to France, song number 16. This year, it's being sung by Martin Clemenceau, giving us a profile shot there, uh, with a backing group. Uh, most of the singers are using backing groups. Now, France have won this contest four times. That's more than any other country. Come in. We move on to song number 17 in this Eurovision Song Contest 73, and there'll be a big welcome for the final song and Israel's first entry into the contest. Now, this lovely blonde lady is Elanit. Her song is Aisham, which is freely translated as Somewhere, Somewhere. It's written by Ehud Manor and Nurit Hirsch. they can take part in the Eurovision Song Contest. That's the final song, and Helga to speak to you. Because we should not forget that the Eurovision Song Contest is a contest of songs. 
Eh bien, merci à tous les interprètes d'avoir signé. Now I have to interrupt this lovely girl again, just to relieve some of the tension before the voting starts. And the tension here, you can almost feel it in the new theatre, Luxembourg. Helga is introducing one of the great European plants in the tradition of marvelous entertainers like Grock from Spain, Charlie Rivel. As a matter of fact, they're erecting a statue to him in Barcelona, even as we speak. He's coming up now with his version of Bel Canto, his takeoff of the operatic coloratura. Here's the great Charlie Rivel. European clown. Frankly, I don't think Danny LaRue has anything to worry about there. Now, of course, the tension building again is Helga explaining the scoring system for French-speaking viewers and listeners. Well, as she says, suspense it is in the new theater here in Luxembourg. Chaque pays a envoyé deux membres au jury, dont l'un a plus de 25 ans et l'autre moins de 25 ans, avec toutefois un écart de 10 ans minimum entre les deux. Chaque jury doit attribuer entre 1 et 5 points par chanson et il va de soi qu'il n'a pas le droit de voter pour son propre pays. Monsieur Clifford Brown, ici présent. Bonsoir, Monsieur Brown. Scrutateur de l'Union européenne de radiodiffusion, surveillera les opérations de vote. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this interlude away from the suspense of the contest. And now we are ready for the voting procedure. Each country has two members on the jury, one over 25 years old, the other under 25, with at least 10 years between their ages. And each jury member has to give between one and five points for each song, and naturally they are not allowed to vote for their own country's song. The supervision of the voting operation will be in the experienced hands of Mr. Clifford Brown, scrutineer of the European Broadcasting Union. Eh bien, well, les jeux sont faits. I hope you follow those scoring rules. If not, we'll try and explain them to you as we go along. Let's meet the juries. Le premier groupe de jurés. Every country represented by two judges. First group: Finland, Belgium, and Portugal. First mark for Finland, of course, so the Finnish Jewish, the Finnish judges cannot vote. For la Belgique, seven votes. Seven votes for Belgium. So I think we can safely say that Finland are in the lead now. Ten votes. Ten votes for Portugal. May I have your votes for Germany, please? Thirteen. That puts Finland still one Holland point in the lead ahead of Germany. Eighteen votes for Norway. Well, as soon as I say that, of course, Norway leaps ahead by four marks. Pour Monaco, s'il vous plaît. Onze votes. Eleven votes for Monaco. Still Norway in the lead, then. Pour l'Espagne. Vingt votes. 20 votes for Spain. Spain, 20, and in the lead, obviously very popular in the hall there. Uh. 10 votes for Switzerland. 
La Yugoslavie. 11 votes. The votes for Yugoslavia. For Yugoslavia. 11 points. In Italy. 10 votes. 10 votes for Italy. For the Luxembourg, s'il vous plaît. 20 votes. 20 votes for Luxembourg. Again, some more hometown applause. And again, since you can't see the left-hand side of the scoreboard, let me say that that 20 puts Luxembourg level with Spain in the lead. Et pour les Pays-Bas? 10 votes. 10 votes. For Ireland, 12 votes. 12 votes for Ireland. Le Pays Bas, by the way, is Holland. 21 votes. Well, there you go. That's Cliff in the lead with far to all our friends. It's early days, yet I know, but that's a good sign, a good augury. One point in the lead over Luxembourg at 20, and Spain also at 20. Nine votes for France. Et enfin pour Israël. 17 votes. 17 votes for Israel. So, after the first round of voting, it's the United Kingdom in the lead at 21, with Luxembourg at 20, Spain also at 20. They're the leading three, United Kingdom, Luxembourg and Spain. Over to the next three group of judges, that's Germany, Norway and Monaco. That's a good mark for Finland. Thirteen votes for Belgium. Le Portugal, s'il vous plaît. Quatorze votes. Fourteen votes. That brings their total to twenty-four. Et pour l'Allemagne? Neuf votes. Nine votes for Germany. So on the four so far, it's Finland with thirty-one in the lead. Portugal at twenty-four in second place. Thirteen votes for Norway. That puts Norway level with Finland. Scandinavians keeping it to themselves at the moment. That's a good mark for Spain. Put them 10 points in the lead of Finland at 31 and Norway on that same score. 42, I beg your pardon, that's 11 points for Spain. La Yugoslavie, s'il vous plaît. 11 votes. 11 votes. So that's Spain in the lead with 42. Followed by Finland with 31. Italy's marks coming up, 25. Et pour le Luxembourg? 22 votes. 22 votes. That's a very high mark indeed, and it brings Luxembourg right into the reckoning. In fact, the level with Spain on 42. votes for Sweden. Les Pays-Bas, s'il vous plaît. Pays-Bas, Holland. 14 votes. Giving them a total of 24. So it's Luxembourg with 42. Spain with 42. Sweden with 34. Le Royaume-Uni. Let's see how Cliff and part of all our friends do on this round. That's a high mark. 22 votes for the United Kingdom. And that puts the United Kingdom in the lead at 43 with Luxembourg 42. Spain at 42. Et Israël? 19 votes. 19 votes for Israel. Israel are doing well. At the end of that round, you can see the light flashing beside the United Kingdom, which means we're in the lead by 43, by one point over Luxembourg at 42, and Spain also at 42. Israel have 36. 
And then Sweden and Holland. Sweden at 34. 19 votes for Finland. Again, Finland making very good progress in the contest. 14 votes for Belgium. Le Portugal, s'il vous plaît. The three judges are Spain, Switzerland, and Yugoslavia. 22 votes for Portugal. Les votes pour l'Allemagne. The vote for Germany. 20 votes for Germany. That's a high mark for Germany. La Norvège. 19 votes for Norway. Et les votes pour Monaco. 20 votes. So Portugal, to give you the running total of 46. Finland in the lead in this group at 50. Norway also at 50. And that's Spain with 59. Spanish entry doing very well as it was anticipated. Erez too. Fourteen votes for Yugoslavia. Italy, s'il vous plaît. Dix-sept votes. Seventeen votes. Et le Luxembourg. Vingt-cinq votes. It looks as if Luxembourg. Twenty-five votes for Luxembourg. They're going to be the main contenders in this with the United Kingdom. Sixty-seven total for Luxembourg. Spain with fifty-nine. Twenty-two votes for Sweden. Les Pays-Bas, s'il vous plaît. Quinze votes. Fifteen. L'Irlande. The votes for Ireland. Dix-sept votes. 17 votes for Ireland. Le Royaume-Uni. Fingers crossed again. Let's see how we do on this. 20 votes for the United Kingdom. So, we slip behind by four points. Luxembourg in the lead, 67. To the United Kingdom, 63. 16 votes. Et les votes pour Israël. Eighteen votes for Israel. Et si nous faisons le point maintenant, c'est le Luxembourg. You see the light flashing opposite Luxembourg score, which means they've taken over the lead from the United Kingdom at 67. United Kingdom with 63, four points behind. Spain with 59. Mais tout est encore changé puisque nous reste encore beaucoup de votes à recevoir. Au suivant groupe, s'il vous plaît. Over to our next group of judges. And they're the judges from Italy, Luxembourg, Gans and Sweden, marking votes. first, as always, for Finland. Les votes pour la Belgique. Oui, vote. Eight votes for Belgium. Le Portugal, s'il vous plaît. Neuf votes. Nine votes for Portugal. Et les votes pour l'Allemagne. 16 votes for Germany. For the Norvège. Germany not doing as well as I certainly anticipated. 15 votes for Norway. And for Monaco. Norway and Finland both doing well. 65. Level pegging. 18 votes for Monaco. L'Espagne, s'il vous plaît. 25 votes. 25 votes for Spain. That's a very good mark for Spain. Spain and Luxembourg regarded as the main contenders with the United Kingdom. Spain's total, 84. 13 votes. 13 votes for Switzerland. And for the Yugoslavia? 8 votes. 8 votes for Yugoslavia. Vos votes pour l'Italie, s'il vous plaît. Dix votes. Ten votes. Over to the other side of the scoreboard. Italy's total of 52. Et pour le Luxembourg. Let's see if the leaders can hold the lead in this round. Dix-sept votes. Seventeen votes for Luxembourg. 
84, well, that wasn't address. a very good mark for Luxembourg. It put, means oh, that yeah. Spain have drawn level with Luxembourg, 84 points season. each. Les Pays-Bas. 14 votes. 14 votes. And may I have your votes for Ireland, please? 16 votes. 16 votes. Here we go, we're all watching this. Me? That's a good mark. That's a really good votes. mark. 24 for, for the United the Kingdom. United That's Kingdom. That puts us in the lead by three points. It's a real seesaw battle here on the new theater in Luxembourg. 87 to the United Kingdom, 84 to Luxembourg, 84 to Spain. Israel. 21 votes. Well, as you can see, it's a three-horse race at the moment. 84 to Spain, 84 to Luxembourg, and the United Kingdom taking the lead again by three points with 87. It's a marvelously exciting and close contest here. And Helga is the girl out there in the middle in her turquoise dress. Three more sets of judges from Holland, Ireland, and the United Kingdom. Remembering, of course, that the United Kingdom cannot vote for us. 12 votes for Belgium. And Portugal. Incidentally, the English jurors are Catherine Woodfield, who's a trainee hotel manager from Stratford and Avon. And Mr. Patrick Williams, who comes from Twickenham in Middlesex, he's a scoutmaster. Let's get back to the scoring here. Nine votes for Norway. Well, that'll be disappointing to Norway because they've been level pegging with Finland, the two Scandinavian countries, right the way through. Now they're ten points behind. Now we're all watching this one because Spain really caught up on the last round. And that's a very high mark. This will certainly put Spain into the lead over the United Kingdom in this round because, of course, the United Kingdom judges cannot vote. 108 is the total for Spain. votes for Switzerland. La Yugoslavie. 13 votes. 13 votes for Yugoslavia. Et les votes pour l'Italie. 13 votes. 13 points for Over to the other side of the scoreboard. Just to refresh your memory, Spain have 108. And on the left-hand side of the scoreboard, Finland are closest to them. I'm at 84. 27 votes That's the highest for mark Luxembourg. so far, far, I think, for Luxembourg. And that means Luxembourg are now in the lead over Spain by three points at 111. 18 votes for Sweden. 27, that's a really high mark. Les points pour les Pays-Bas, s'il vous plaît. Oui, but. Eight votes. Et pour l'Irlande, 11 votes. 11 votes. Uh, United Kingdom. What are we going to score on this? We can't score terribly high. It's still a good mark. 19 votes. But it means that the United Kingdom are now behind in third position with Luxembourg in the lead, 111. Spain, 108. And the United Kingdom with 106. Israel. 18 votes for Israel. Now look at the full scoreboard now, we'll show you. Luxembourg with the light flashing beside it. The lead has been switching between Luxembourg and the United Kingdom all night. Luxembourg are now five points ahead of the United Kingdom, three points ahead of Spain. 111 to Luxembourg, 108 to Spain, 106 to the United Kingdom. A really exciting contest. No clear winner yet. Over to the last group of judges, France and Israel. This is it. It'll all be decided in this round. Four votes for Belgium. Le Portugal. 
11 points for Portugal. Les votes pour l'Allemagne, s'il vous plaît. 11 votes. 11 points Quebec, pour Quebec, the marks totting up. Et la Norvège. Can everybody waiting to see what Spain are going to score. 15 votes for Norway. Le, et les the interest centering on three countries now. Spain, Luxembourg and the United Nine Kingdom. Votes for Monaco. Here it comes, the mark for Spain. 17 votes. That is a high mark for judges. 125, et that's the total for Spain. These are the final totals. Les votes pour la Suisse, s'il vous plaît. Cinq votes. Five votes for Switzerland. I'm sure these judges feel a sense of heavy responsibility. La Yougoslavie. Oui, votes. Eight votes for Yugoslavia. And before we go to the other side of the scoreboard. May I have your votes for Italy, Spain, please? 125. Nine points for Italy. Now, here it comes. How are Luxembourg going to score on this? Will they retain the lead? Yes, they have. 18 votes for Luxembourg. That's 129, which means that they're four points ahead of Spain. The only team, or the only country that can catch Luxembourg now is Cliff Richard for the United Kingdom and power to all our friends. Eight votes. Les votes pour l'Irlande. Oui, votes. Eight votes for Ireland. That's a total of 80 for Ireland. Now, here it comes. Le What's the mark for the United Kingdom? 17 votes. Oh. 17 votes for the United Kingdom. It's not going to be enough. Luxembourg in the lead, 129. Spain second with 125. Les the United Kingdom in third position on 123. Two votes for France. Et enfin pour Israël. Cinq votes. So that's it. The scores are all in. The totals have been made. Luxembourg, the home team, are the winners. Anne-Marie David for Luxembourg has won. The crowd, of course, marvelously enthusiastic. There's the winner herself, Anne-Marie David, taking over the mantle from Vicky Leandro. So they have made it two on the trot. And Anne-Marie David moves up through her fellow contestants to shake them by the hand. As she comes down to receive this prize. The winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 1973 here in her home country. Here in the new theater in Luxembourg, Helga embraces her. Obviously, there's going to be some celebration in the old town tonight. And obviously, Anne-Marie David overcome by this victory. Luxembourg have won by 129 to Spain, 125, and the United Kingdom's 123. And I don't think Anne-Marie David can believe it. Here comes the winner last year for Luxembourg as well. So it's two in a row for Luxembourg as Vicky Leandro hands over the bouquet of flowers and the plaque. Which means that Anne-Marie David has won the Eurovision Song Contest for Luxembourg with two to reconnaître.
and gentlemen, as you have seen, it is Luxembourg with the song Tu te reconnaîtra et Anne-Marie David, which has won the 1973 Eurovision Song Contest. And we are very pleased to have with us this evening last year's winner, Vicky Leandros, who has now presented to Anne-Marie David la Médaille du Grand Prix on behalf of Radio Tele Luxembourg. Et avant de vous laisser réécouter well, la chanson gagnante, the laughter from bubbling up. This is Helga, obviously beside herself, as everybody in Luxembourg will be. To win it once, to win it twice in succession is really something. Before you go on to hear the winning song for a second time, I would like to wish you, on behalf of all the participants of this Eurovision Song Contest, a very good night, bonsoir, auf Wiedersehen, good night. That's the charming Helga. We're going to reprise the winning song in the Eurovision Song Contest 1973 for Luxembourg. Tu te reconnaîtra, Anne-Marie David. Dans les rêves de l'enfance, dans les lèvres que le maître a puni. Dans la gare où commence la première aventure de la vie Dans celui qui doute, dans celui qui croit Tu verras, tu te reconnaîtras À chaque instant, dans chaque joie, dans chaque Ce monde égoïste qui renie ce qu'il a adoré dans ceux qui ont. 